Welcome to the natural passages to the most spectacular wonders below the Earth's surface, caves. Right now you're looking at the most common type of caves found in the world, limestone caves. Perhaps what makes these underground rooms so fascinating are the formations which decorate the cave's ceilings and floors. As falling rain passes through the soil layers, carbon dioxide and other minerals from decaying matters are trapped within the solution. Upon reaching the cave, the water droplets fall and the carbon dioxide is released, leaving behind tiny calcite crystals. These mineral deposits are what form all of the cave decorations. Let's take a closer look at some common cave formations. Over here, we have the dripstones. Soda straws are thin-walled, hollow formations that resemble drinking straws. As water drips slowly from the roof of the cave, it deposits a microscopic ring of calcite crystal. Stalactites hang from the cave roof. Nearly all stalactites start their life as a straw. When the straw becomes blocked with calcite or impurities, the stalactite starts to develop and thicken over the years, from the solution which runs down its outer surface. Conversely, Stalagmites grow upwards from the cave floor due to the accumulation of material deposited from ceiling drippings. Stalactites and stalagmites can eventually join from floor to ceiling to become columns or pillars. However, the process may take up to a hundred thousand years. Not all water that reaches the roof of the cave forms droplets. Sometimes it trickles down a rock face, depositing a narrow strip of calcite that eventually results in a thin sheet growing at an angle from the wall. This formation is called a shawl. Last but not least, we have flowstones. These formations occur when flowing water leaves a film of calcite. They cover the original rock or mud floor and the lower portions hang free, making a fringe or shawl of stalactites. These beautiful formations are very delicate and can be easily damaged which is why it is vital to preserve the pristine beauty of these natural environments.